Welcome back. So in the last episode we'd created this kind of chunky character and the only reason it's chunky is because we haven't done any shaping to it. So let's just do a little bit of shaping so we know that's uh, too much there. So we know a little bit more what we're looking for in the upper chest just because this region is complicated enough without having the wrong body shape on the rest of the form. Uh, and this, come on, this hippiness here is uh, just an accident of accident of modeling and doesn't have anything to do with the actual character design. Not that the character has an actual design, as I've mentioned. There we are. That's more in tune with what we'd like, but it's clear that this character is too tall, because this character is supposed to be a short character. Not not like, uh, um, not like really short, but short enough. We're talking maybe, maybe five feet tall. Uh, and of course, this is a much too exaggerated, um, situation, so we'll just bring it in tune here by shrinking it down, and move it forward a little bit, there we go, uh, and this can be brought in as well, and of course we can also shape it by rotating it, there we go, now the character is properly, properly skinny, um, and we can go ahead and fix up the top half so that it has some sort of semblance of sense. So most of you might realize that there's going to be a clavicle running down along this area, so we're going to go ahead and start with that by extending here. Oh, I've got clipping turned on. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've got everything turned on. There we go. And you don't have to swear in order to do uh, modeling, but it really helps. Um, so then we're just going to keep going. So you might be thinking, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to wrap around down here? And definitely not. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and shift the entire structure here up. So it goes around the top of the shoulder. Uh, we do not need to go underneath the arm with this loop. Um, underneath the arm is going to be annoying enough without adding in stupid stuff like that. So just uh, go over the top. And you can see pretty clearly that we intend to hook it straight up to the, to the neck. So let's go ahead and split this so we've got the right number of um, verts and just pair them up. And I just connected that, but in actuality I probably didn't want to. Um, this is an area where we do have to switch over to a more high definition region. I think it'll work out, because uh, what I'll do here is I'll extend... It's gotten pretty shouty, so I hope you'll ignore any of the shouting in the background. I muted it for about 10 minutes, but it sounds like they're still shouting, so... My apologies. There you go. Alright, and so obviously you may have noticed that we have this issue where uh, the the back of the shoulder is incomplete and we've got this kind of slightly crazy situation at the top of the shoulder where we've got this loose triangle here and that's gonna work in our favor because what we end up needing to we need a, a lot of extra texture uh, sorry a lot of extra uh, mesh at the top of the shoulder to support um, raising your arm and that's what's gonna be our extra mesh as you can see we we'll just use it just like this and that'll connect up rather nicely when we're ready for it. Uh, so one of the things we need to decide is what we want to do about this area here. We've got two basic options. Uh, one of the options is that we can simply extrude in, like so. Um, and that's not actually a terrible option, but it's normally used when you need a whole lot more detail in this area, and we don't. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to actually close this area off and just use the loop for a little bit of added density rather than using it for uh, any kind of actual looping. Oh, has it got the wrong number? It does. It has the wrong number of links. I didn't even realize that. Oh, because I must have, I deleted one. That's right. There we go. And that'll give us plenty of room. Uh, for, for whatever chest we, we decide we want to give our, our character. Um, for now, we'll just make it so that we can understand that there is one. Um, we don't 
need to spend time on it. All right, so the arm is obviously not in the right spot. Let's go ahead and move it. And now it's a big question of how we want to hook these things up to the arm. And the first thing we want to do is actually merge these guys together. And then we're going to go ahead and extrude out, just so we can really see what's going on with the arm. And uh, after that, it's a fairly simple matter of connecting things up. But there's a big question here as to where we want, to, what we want to do about this. Do we want to make it so that these situ this, this, this situation has tries, triangles, or do we want to make it so that it's a quad? And I, loop, I, I just link this up without thinking. Um, but in actuality, that's not what I wanted to do. I just did it out of out of inst out of old habit. Yeah, die hard. There, yeah, that's better. So this loop here actually creates a little bit more density on top of the shoulder, which allows us to, in turn, uh, get more density coming out of it than went into it. Um, but we need to get rid of this part here and uh, this part here, just because that's too much density, and we can't really handle that level of density with our current setup. So now there's a there's a two choice well, there's two, two options here. We can either hook these guys up, or we can bring this guy around underneath the arm, which is what we're going to end up doing because we don't want our arm to be too beefy. Um, the character is not is not a warrior; uh, they're a pilot, so they don't need to have a really beefy arm. And that's what we'll do instead. And then we'll just merge these guys in, and then we can merge up here with down here. Did I add something I didn't need to? So clickety clickety, clickety clickety clickety, and clickety 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 clickety. And that means that this guy goes away, and then we merge here, and then we merge here, and then we merge here. And that's a five, isn't it? Yep. So this guy goes away. And this particular uh, rectangle, while it might look awkward, is actually very valuable to us for deforming later on down the road. Um, and I'll show you that when we get to it much later on. All right, so now, of course, we should reshape this area so that it makes sense in terms of um, how it would actually look on the character. Because right now, it's just topologically correct. It's not shaped as the character should be shaped. So let's bring this stuff in. Um, we'll expand the arm just a touch. And uh, these here can oh, these here can be moved back. Like that. And this shoulder has a little bit of an issue with this particular vert. And I'm not actually a fan of how this part turned out. It's not very high density. Well, we, we may come back to that later and try and fix it. This is way too far back. That means this is way far back. There you go. All right, so our character is beginning to look like a character. move some of this stuff in a little bit and some of this stuff comes in as well and I don't know who you are but you are way too far out so bring yourself in we don't need that particular point to be that far out and these guys here can be brought up we don't need them to be that far down there we go and that means these guys can be brought up there we go. All right, so now our basic shape is starting to really develop, and we're starting to get something that looks like a human. Um, and I bet you didn't think that it would ever look right. It doesn't look perfect yet, but it, it works in terms of the basic overall shape, 
and it just needs some tweaks here and there to make it so that it works out really well. Now one of the things you might have noticed is that I've got the subsurface on and I've got it on even though I'm modeling um, really actively. Normally you might think that it's better to have the subsurface as something that you add on at the end or turn on and off quite regularly. But when you've been modeling with the lines of the human body in mind from the start, uh, it's not so bad because the mesh loops will actually end up looking right just by adding density to them and you don't have to um, you don't have to worry too much about uh, about you know tweaking them to look right because you built with that in mind from the beginning and that means that they look good right from the beginning alright so there's our torso and in the next episode we will move on to probably the arms and legs and then onto the head